Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will tell you about a type conversion in Power Virtual Agent. Normally, let's say you are asking in Power Virtual Agent as a, a, a question to the user with multiple, uh, multiple options. For example, here in Power Virtual Agent, we are asking a question to the customer or the bot is asking this question to the customer in a multiple choice option. So let's say I have home loan, personal loan, vehicle loan, and another loan type. So ultimately you are asking to choose one option from a multiple choice, right? So once the action is selected, the variable that is used to store is a choice field, right? Now this choice is a data type which is used to store different items. But whenever you pass this information to Power Automate uh, from Power Virtual Agent, uh, it will show error okay because choice data type input parameter is not available in power automate when you call a power automate from power virtual agent you can only use text date and time and integer values or number values now how to extract the text value from this choice field you have to use a function so go down here i am assigning the uh, choice field in the uh, input parameter right in the power automate so what i can do i can go to here so instead of using this choice data type field or variable i can go to the formula and leverage the formula called as text to convert the variables choice field to string so i can use dot then variable name what is the variable name variable name is for loan choice now this will extract the string uh, it will convert the choice field to string field and it the error will go away now you can see the error will go away so using expressions or using functions or formulas in power virtual agent is very helpful to uh, type conversion or you can use the power fx uh, leverage the power fx in power virtual agent to do many dynamic things right as i have used text you can use other formulas also if else condition right and uh, you can use date time um, formulas numeric formulas you can use some roundup right so take the advantage of this formula and you can do your work so this is how you can convert your choice data type to string data type so that you can pass the value correctly as a string to power automate right now you can test it will not give any uh, typecast error or type uh, issue typecasting issues thanks everyone bye